are the Flagowski Five. Just your everyday family of five in a world designed for the average family of four. Everything we've ever done, from infancy to the age that we're all at now, as men having to make some adjustments. Most everything we do has to be modified to reflect the reality of having three kids. We really wanted to share all of our fun-filled experiences that we have as a not-so-average size family, both in our hometown of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and beyond. We are Tammy, Ralph, Danica, Darren, Jaden, and of course our fur baby, Kipper. Here we go. Come join us. Good morning. It is 3.23 in the morning. We've been up since 3 o'clock. We're on our way to New Brunswick today. It's going to be a long day. But we're getting ready to go. And we're pretty excited because this is the first time we're really going to spend any time on the Atlantic as a family. So this is going to be great. Other than, of course, um, Middle Beach and Florida. But this really, truly, in Canada, first time in Atlantic Canada as a family. So we're pretty excited. You can barely see us. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. We're, we're in the back here. We're heading to New Brunswick. 3 a.m. Four, actually 4.32 a.m. But like I'm 4.32 a.m. I'm tired, I'm hot, and I'm... That's basically it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we'll be logging along the way and vlogging along our entire trip. So, we'll see you there. Probably gonna hear wind. Yeah. Watch the edge. Wow, this is nice. This is nice, eh? Check it out. Come and see. How many pieces of paper have ever died? No. Silly. I wonder how big it is. I do need to go to the washroom. Yeah, it's okay. We'll... Guess I'll be editing that out. Yeah. See, there's part of, there's a beach here. You can kind of climb down. There's also that, that little beach right there. And the tide is in. Oh, Careful, watch your feet. Hole. Watch your feet. It's a big hole. Oh, yeah. There's there's a path right there. It looks like it goes in to the small beach right there. It looks amazing. Alright, let's go take a look. What's that? Oh my god, it's so Watch the spider. Yeah, I know. Okay, go ahead. Oh, spider! <laughs> spider! Help me! Hey, he's so nice! Yo! Oh, it's cute! Oh my god! 
Paradise Super Point. Super cute. Paradise Point. Paradise Point. Welcome to Paradise Point, everybody. Cute. We're at the beach. At the small one of the small beaches. Okay. There's a boat. Yeah. You smell the fish. And you get all of the different shells. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh my god, this is all kelp. This is all kelp. Amazing. <coughs> Look at this one, Danica. Check this one out. Look at that. Oh, I want that. Look at the size I, I of that thing. This shell. I want to put it in my room on the table and just put it there. We got a lobster trapper here. He's taken off. He's got his trap. Yeah, everything's gone, so. And off he goes to the next site. Early in the morning. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of neat lobsters. to see. I love that. You should have like a lobster delivery service. <laughs> pull him right here. Yeah, yeah, pull him right here. I'll take two. I'll take four. <laughs> awesome. So cool to watch that first thing in the morning. While we're sitting here having our coffees. There, see there's a view. Nice. Neat. The wind is cold today. Is it cold? So we're gonna check out the beach down here today. We're having a chill out day at the cottage because we're tired. And we're gonna go down here because the water is at its lowest in about 15 or 20 minutes. It's highest, you take this, and this Pretty is- Pretty much over here is where the highest goes. So this is low tide, and all the way up there is high tide. It's gonna be at its lowest in about 15 minutes. And as you can see, right down here, if I go zoom in a bit here, you can see the line right here is where the water goes up to. Figure it's somewhere between 15 and 20 feet probably from the edge, from the water line all the way to the top here, sort of estimated. That's uh, quite a distance from up here. So you can probably got the wind here bothering you on the, on the camera. But uh, yeah, this is uh, at its lowest right here. At least at this place, at the cottage. So this is the cottage that we're staying at. There's a path. We're gonna take the path all the way up to the beach. It's kind of a neat path. A little precarious in spots, but not too bad. Make sure I don't trip on anything. Because I only have my Tevas on. So I don't want to fall. Ooh. There you go. Here's the walk friend. Hold on, I'll come and see you. I mean, hunters know how much, like, the print they got to ways and stuff. Like, I'm just maybe. saying, maybe this Ooh, look, check it out. That's cool. The light. There's a good, uh, nice deep one, eh? But you could tell it was going that way, but, like, you can't find any other. Prince. Oh, neat. All right, let's keep moving. Yep. Head down to the beach. Quite a breeze today too, so there's not a lot of mosquitoes. So we came in here the other night, there was a few mosquitoes. Today, not really anything. That's a cool branch. <laughs> it's a little on the steep side, so you just gotta be careful. I'm gonna switch hands here camera. There we go. Make our way down. 
on without tripping, that would be ideal. Having Tevas on is a bit of an unnerving thing because you get caught on a route and you go over. And Not like having see, climbing when, shoes. When you're walking down, you're it's not bad, but the thing is, is I don't want to, I'm going left, Annika, I don't want to go down the steep, I'm going to go down the grass, through the grassy knoll. Okay. Please and thank you. It's just a little easier. We do have to watch for ticks because there are deer here, but we'll just do a quick walk through here. Oh, squido. Yeah. Oh, that's a moth. And then we'll... Go quickly through here. It's kind of running. We're kind of there's a bit of a beaten path here, which is kind of nice. And then you've got the beach. It's pretty nice. Oh, there's jellyfish. Are there? Nice. Do they look like the ones we saw yesterday? The cross buns, or are they different? Little tentacles? No, little tentacles. Oh, yeah, no. So here we've got some old nets. Here's a jellyfish. I don't figure out what kind that is. Danica seems to think that they're moon jellies, but I'm not sure about moon jellies on the east coast. We'll have to find out. We'll look it up and we'll, we'll see. They're all over the beach. All over the beach. It's kind of neat. So I don't know if you can see them. <clears throat> and all those white patches, that's all jellyfish. It's like a bit of a bloom going on. Full, 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 full of jellyfish. So here's what washed up on the shore here. This is just one beach. But you see all of this is uh, fishing nuts. Is it any wonder that the whales are getting caught in this stuff? It's just washing up all over the beaches. I think as humans we have to do better than this. I, I really think we got to do better than this. This is insane. I, it, this is amazing. Like this beach, there's a whole ton over there that he's pulled up of fishing nets and uh, debris. It's quite, um, it's quite crazy how much of it there is. The other thing that we see a lot of is um, plastic. A lot of plastic. We got to do better than that. What did you find? What did you find? Okay, can I take a picture? Let's take a picture. Daddy. Oh, is he ever cute? He's so tiny. Hey, Mom, let me see. Jaden actually pet him. Reference. This is uh, my hand for reference. Oh, he's so cute. Should I pet him? Got... Sea glass. Sea glass. Oh, wow. The... Oh, it's like a little piece, of, like a, a plug for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Show me all your sea glass. Well, I have a sail here. And also, you can probably guess, whoever knows me, guess. Which one is my favorite? Green ones. I'm well, going to guess the green ones. Really? You like my stick? It's a nice stick. It's a great stick. Oh. Beautiful. That's a new fashion statement. It's very creepy, eh? You should like my stick. Give me a thumbs up if you like my stick. There you go. How many do you got? I got 13 sea glasses. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Which ones are your favorite ones? The brown ones, the green ones, the clear ones? Um. I, I like this one because it's so Wait, nice and smooth. Some green ones That's a big there? one. Can I have some green ones? I also like this one because it's also nice and smooth. Here, Jane. Here, Jane. I also like this one because it's nice and smooth. I'll trade oh, they're all nice and smooth. Oh. No, I want a lot of No, but I don't have any green. I want the lonely piece of green. Please. A lonely piece of green. Where's Dad working out on the beach? <laughs> nice. Beautiful.
But I wanted to show you the difference between this morning when we were out here, or this afternoon at 2 o'clock and now. Now it's about 8, 8 o'clock at night. And you can see here where the beach is, all the way here, if I come back, you'll see here that the beach originally was all the way out here, all the way down here. All this water's come back in since then, so. And you can see here, you can barely see any of the rocks. All the rock formations that are here are gone. All the rock formations that are here are gone and all underwater. And this isn't at its peak yet. It'll be at its peak in about an hour. So you can kind of see here, yeah. Pretty neat to see it come in. All right, so when at the Bay of Fundy, one must eat? Lobster. 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 And I've never made lobster myself, so I'm a little bit nervous. But here they are. There's the boots. There they are, all four of them. I want to touch one. Some of barnacles on No them. touching Kinda the weird. food. You can't appreciate the food. You... Can I touch no. one? You want to touch one? You touch it right before we make it. Hold on a second. Can I not bring my hand? Just, just touch one, but don't lift them up just yet. <laughs> so, I got the water boiling over here on the stove and oh, the big I need pot. To show you my drawings. Mm -hmm. First of all, there is. Well, show me the one of the. There's a lobster. Do you know those like sushi headbands you yep. have or used to? I don't know if they have That's it or it not. There. That's him. And then we also have um, super lobster. Super lobster. <laughs> all right. All right, so we got corn, and we got water is about to boil in this new pot that we bought, and we got biscuits, both. Garlic and normal. Garlic and normal. I'm excited. Can we, is, is there oh, enough for each of us to try both? and let's not forget. Is there enough for each of us to try both? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, there's more in here. I'm cooking more in here. Now we have butter. herb and lemon butter. Yeah. And then regular old garlic butter, which we're going to melt when we get a little closer to the cook. And there's no and then that'll, that'll give us. A, and then, okay. and then we have our kitchen shears to do the tails. And we got. We could have used just a knife, the back of a knife, but I bought one of these fancy things for the claws. Because yeah. it, it's it's ironic. So we could have used, you know, the back of a knife. No pains. But whatever, we'll we'll use that because it's cute. Just pull it out. Grab it. And he's got to go in head first. Maybe you have to grab him. Oh, grab him. <laughs> Dad, do you not like him? Just... Who doesn't? Who oh, likes him? Do I see you holding a lobster? <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. <clears throat> okay, ready? It's gonna burn. First Why down. Head head burn? first. <laughs> All right, after a bit of chaos, we managed to get two in there now. And we have them on a 13 minute timer. So 10 for the first lobster, three for the second. And we'll see how that turns out. And then we've got to bring it to a boil again so we can put the last two in. You're going in next, buddies. Good job, Daddy-O. I don't like handling crustaceans. Oh no? No. They don't bother me too much because they're not slimy, so... I mean, I'm sure I could do it, but... You know, because I'm a strong, powerful woman and all, but... Are you recording this? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Strong, powerful woman and all. Yes, you are. Whatever. It's true, you are. Whatever. Okay. So there's two of four. These two, unfortunately, are pending their fate. But there's two. I'll start breaking them up shortly. Yep. I'm gonna let them cool off just a little bit before I start breaking them up because otherwise I'll burn myself. They smell touch the weird. Internet. They smell weird. <laughs> yeah, the inside meat doesn't smell weird. It's super good and it's gonna be good with the butter I have. All right. Oh, they do. Hello. I feel like I was very delicious today. Is it very delicious? You were very delicious. Was I? Yeah. Very delicious. Yeah. You. Oh. Yeah. Kipper, what's this? Joe Kipper. Kipper, what's this? Down. Who's this? 
No. no. Who's this? Kipper. This is, this is Larry the Lobster. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Kipper. No. She's like, ah. she, she would eat it. She would eat it in a heartbeat. Mommy, that smells like food. Yeah. Yeah, see? I'm all. This is the sun. But, uh, I put sunscreen on. But I also am reacting to that damn thing. I'm allergic to crab, and I never reacted to to um, lobster, but now I do. I react to lobster, so I can't have that anymore. Anyway, no big deal. Super tasty. I'll show you the... Uh, overcooked it a little bit, though. It was a little bit tough, uh, I realized, but that's okay. Here's the a little dark here. Or the carcass. Carcasses. So, you know. A little chocolate for decoration. Ralph made good work of that. And we had some biscuits. Gluten free biscuit biscuits. And I put garlic butter on the tops of them before putting it in the oven. It was really good. Would highly recommend if you want to do that. Really, really tasty. And uh, it was raining a while ago, and now this is uh, we're back to our uh, beautiful sunny view. It was awesome. Now the messy work of cleaning up. Yeah. Da da da. So we have our hammock set up. We should have three hammocks for each. Hi. All of us. All of us? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You like you like me, Danica. This is the view from the no, hammock. One for Dad, Not bad, one for eh? One for me and one for you too. Yeah, five hammocks. You two can share it. No, three, mm. four. This was a birthday hammock. You guys can share it, but then I need my own because. How much do you think they are? Two hundred dollars. I don't remember how much these are, but they're pretty I nice. Have drums here. Yeah, they, they, they. We have a nice view from here. Oh, there's a boat going by. Hide. Hide from the boat. Hide from the boat. Hide from the boat. There's a boat. Hide from the boat. I don't know where the other piece is. Good morning. I like the uh, the nice raccoon look. Um. Well, this is uh, last look here at our cottage. I'm a little tired. It's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We're about to leave to uh, head back towards Ottawa. We had a really good time here, although we did have some ups and downs during the way, because that's the way it is when you have kids. But this was a lot of fun. It was really nice. You've got some nice boats here. Let's see if I can see behind me here. Get some boats out on the water. There is uh, a lot of wildlife around here. Seals, eagles. Um, what else did we see? Herons. Um, there were some deer here. Anyway, it was a nice location. And I'm definitely going to come back here for sure. Anyway, um, just wanted to do a little wrap up of our, of our time here. It was a good time. I'm glad that we came. And now it's time to 14 hours or 12 hours all the way home to Ottawa. Here we go. it was around 12 and a half hours to get home um, everyone's upstairs getting ready for bed um, but we finally did make it um, 
Good drive home. Already miss the cottage. Um, we had a really good time. You know, it was really relaxing every night. Ralph and I had the pleasure of having a glass of wine and looking at nature, watching the tide come in or watching the tide go out, depending on the time of day it was. It was really a lot of fun. And uh, I think we're going to definitely go back to that particular cottage. It was a really uh, fun experience. And uh, what I really liked about this particular Airbnb, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link down below the, um, the actual link for the Airbnb that we stayed at. Uh, the owner, whose name is Shannon, um, you know, really has a pretty decently appointed place. And it's a cute little cottage. It's not very big. It's about 900 square feet, maybe. Three bedrooms, but really teeny tiny. But comfortable. The beds were comfortable. The location in St. George was perfect because it was like a stone's throw, 25 minutes from St. Andrews by the sea, which was great because there they had good food there. That's where we did our whale watching. Uh, that's where Minister's Island is, uh, just a little bit uh, north of um, Andrew by the Sea. And so there was a lot to do there. We also headed north uh, to the uh, East River Campground, or Provincial Park rather. We spent a lot of time at that beach. Excuse me, spent a lot of time in the tidal pools and looking for shells and clams and things like that. So really the location of that particular Airbnb was perfect because it was really central to everything we wanted to do on this particular trip. I might want to bring kayaks next time so that on high tide you can actually go out and or even on low tide actually it'd be kind of cool on low tide and then when high tide comes in at least you'd be pushed back towards the, towards the ground or towards the, the seashore rather. Um, so it was good. I liked the location. I liked the um, I mean, and the, and the cottage was cute. It was not huge, but it was cute. It had everything we needed in it. A couple little things here and there that we needed to do, like we bought a bigger pot to be able to make our lobster. Um, but overall, it was a really well-appointed little Airbnb. And um, again, I'll put the link down below so you'll know where to find it if this is something that's of interest to you in the St. George, New Brunswick area of Canada. And uh, that's it. So that's it for our vlog for this time around and uh, we'll bring you along on the next tour.